In this lesson, we're going to demonstrate how to create a work breakdown structure within Microsoft Project. Before we open up Microsoft Project, we need to sketch out in advance what this work breakdown structure is going to look like and create an outline similar to what we'll create within the software. What you have before you is a rough sketch or fuzzy sketch of what that uh, outline would look like. We create this in advance, we have this at our side, and we use this to uh, create the work breakdown structure within the software. So let's assume we've done that and now we're ready to work within the software. We open up and we find ourselves in the Gantt view. And what we're going to do is simply list under the task name all the tasks and deliverables that are on our sheet and then we'll organize it into a work breakdown structure. So we begin first with the project itself which in this case is a mobile reporting system and one of the major deliverables is the performance requirements and to obtain that we have to interview users and based on those users define the performance requirements and if we want to see the complete task name we can go up to the border and then just pull it out a little bit to extend the column width now we're going to enter the uh, once the requirements have been defined then we can start developing the software and software development involves designing the logic designing the database that's going to be used and then once that's done we can begin programming and we're going to divide the programming into code A and programming code B. A third major deliverable is the hardware. We don't have to develop the hardware or simply purchase the hardware components and then we also then assemble those components and then once that done we can create the prototype which involves integrating the hardware with the software. So these are the list of deliverables, tasks, and so forth. Now we want to organize it in a work breakdown structure. And here we simply use the indent buttons up in the left corner, very similar to what you'd find in Microsoft Word, to do that. So we know that all these tasks are required to complete the project. We highlight them and then click indent. And then we want to go to the third level and recognize that these two tasks are necessary to identifying the performance requirements. So we indent that. The software involves these four activities. We indent them. Hardware is simply those two activities. Gotta make sure you line it up right click that and then finally the prototype involves simply the integration of hardware and software and so now we have an outline similar to what you would see in the book and extend that out a little bit so we can see the full task names and then the last thing we might want to do is to code this information and so we go to tools and under options and look that there are a number of different options but the one we're interested in is showing the outline number we click that box then click OK and the software automatically creates a co coding scheme that can be used in terms of tracking information so this is a relatively simple work breakdown structure but the principles can be applied to much more complex uh, frameworks